Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 19 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series. I'm uh, gonna flatten an area, let's see, flatten an area, 13 by 13, please. Thank you, sir, that's very kind of you. You guys help him out, make sure it's nice and flat, would you? Perfect. And I'm leaving for one here to do some flattening, maybe some one here. Just want to make sure we have a nice flat area because today uh, I want to work on a few things. Um, one of the projects I'd like to kind of focus on today would maybe be, um, I'm going to chop down this tree, see you later tree, thank you, beautiful, dude I love me creeps, they are the greatest, they do a good job flattening things out. Look at how helpful they are, it's great, go on Mr. Me creeps. Do your job. Uh, nice. And you should have some dirt in here somewhere. Nice. All right, cool. Uh, I might wind up... Uh, let's probably just like... I want to work on, I think, a tree farm today. And I'd like to drew it with... Um, oh, that's right. I don't have to do that anymore because I have this awesome drill. I forgot that I upgraded this dude. Um, I'd like to focus on uh, checking it out with, with um, the Mine Factory Reloaded um, mod. Or the spiritual successor to Mine Factory Reloaded, I should say, Industrial Foregoing. Uh, that's kind of the plan. Should have brought my builders one with me for this. Nice. Yeah, so that's uh, the reason I'm flattening out this terrain right here, is I kind of want Industrial Foregoing's tree farm to be here. I haven't decided if I also want it to farm some other resources. I think I'll start off with a tree farm, uh, and then we'll kind of go from there. Hey, could you yes, flatten this area as well? Shift right click, repeating the last action selected. Primo, primo functionality right there. Loving that. It is cool. Trying to get the hang of the dank null as well to figure out if I like the way it places blocks or not. Like it's not terrible. I like having that little meat. He's like he's like a little perfect helper. It's not bad, that's for sure. The whole functionality of the meat creep doing its thing. All right, that looks pretty good. Nice, kind of openish space. And I'll go collect all this stuff over here as well. I should maybe consider making a scoop. Yeah, let's do that. If I have if I have the wool for it, I will totally make a scoop. Let's put away some junk that we don't need for a minute. All of this stuff I would call junk. Uh, and how are we for wool mob drops? I think a scoop needs one wool. Or is it? Yeah, just one. So that's cool. Uh, and then a bunch of sticks. Which, hey, why are you guys going in here? Are you full? You're not. Err, sorting system misbehaving. We'll figure it out. Uh, the scoop is what's needed to break beehives in such a way that you both A, get bees, and B, don't have bees attacking you for breaking their hive. Um, so scoop. At least not attacking you as much uh, as if you were to break it with the wrong tool. Yay, I survived. Wow, they actually do hurt quite a bit. I was uh, unprepared for that level of pain. Okay, good to know. Put this stuff away and beautiful. All right, uh, so we've got a nice area here. Uh, now what I'm thinking I will do, we have to investigate how industrial foregoing, I'm assuming that um, it's working in much the same way as the MFR farms did. So there will probably be something for planting and something for picking stuff up. Fertilizer, good, water, condenser resources, fisher, neat. Animal rancher, mob slaughter factory, block breaker, tree fluid, latex, sewage, sludge refinery, that might be cool. Lava fabricator, that's neat. Biofuel generator, laser drills, ore processors. Am I missing the thing that I'm looking for? Did like I pass by it already? Energy field provider. Ooh, what's that? I don't know what that does. Uh, 
Cool. The energy peel is an item. The what now? Okay, cool. I don't really get what that does, but we're gonna have to play with that at some point. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. With Wither Builder, that sounds cool. But where is the thing I want? Oh, I totally passed over it. There we go. So that's what we want. Plant Sower and Plant Gatherer. Cool. Uh, now, Mob Duplicator does not accept range upgrades. Okay, that's good to know. Um, I'm noticing that there's like a little tooltip about whether or not it accepts mob range upgrades. I don't know if that's new or if I just missed it before. So basically we want a Plant Sower. Uh, which doesn't look all that bad. A bit of iron and, you know, some standard stuff. And uh, we'll also want a plant gatherer. So if I searched for plant, that's a pretty good approach to take. All right, let's get some stuff and some things ready to go there. So I'd like it to be a tree farm at first, but we may expand it later to be other types of farming. Uh, so, like, maybe eventually we'll get into... Uh, actually, it just needs oil, and we would use it for oil production, right? Um, and it looks like there's a plant fertilizer as well uh, that I assume you give it fertilizer and it'll bone meal crops for you. Yeah, that sounds cool. So that's pretty good. All right. Uh, so bone mealing crops, and we're probably not going to need that guy. Plant gatherer and plant sower are the two things. So refresh my memory on what goes into this thing. A tin gear... Uh, some glass and some iron. Neat. All right, so we're going to totally want some redstone, uh, some tin, some iron. And we did get a bunch of sand just now, didn't we? Can I go smelt some of that? In our fancy new redstone smelter, that's really good at smelting things quickly, thanks to its three speed augmentations. Super fancy. So we're going to want two of these machines, which means we're going to need two gears. And I think... In the latest version of the pack is when we updated it to, to use these kind of recipes here. So that's cool. We're going to want two of you. Uh, and then we're going to want some plastic, some iron gears. We're going to want two of you. We'll get the we'll get the plant sower first. Let's do that one, right? Uh, so we're going to want a couple of pistons, which is going to require some cobble and some wood. Cool. Plant sower. And then we're just going to need the plastic and the flower pot. The plastic should be chilling in here, I hope. There should be some kind of plastic thing. If I don't have it in here, it might have landed over here. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. We're going to start overflowing pretty quickly, aren't we? I'm going to have to do something about this mess that I call... A miscellaneous junk chest. You know what? I could upgrade it. That might not be a terrible idea for right now. There's a lot of junk in there that I totally don't need. Like, why do I have so many bows? And why are they not middle click sorting in a better manner? That's the question that I have. Well, let's just go get... What I'll do is I'll grab my... So down here, we should have... So I'll do this. And I'm pretty sure this will be a stack of plastic, if I'm not mistaken. So that goes into there. And then this goes into here, and we'll get a stack of plastic sheets. So that'll cook up, and that'll be better. So that we should give us, like, a lot of stuff for a while. All right, so plant sower. So now we just need this flower pot, which is a couple clay. If I don't have bricks already, I can smelt them quickly. Three clay... One, two, three. And then we're gonna also have to figure out how to, neat, plant sower, get power over there. Now, I don't know how much RF this thing uses. Um, well, that's cool, you can see what side it is. That's nifty, what, what, what adds that functionality? Um, lock inventory, show working area. Does it tell me how much RF per ticket uses? Because we are going to be kind of far away. So what I'm thinking is maybe we could jump into using some of these dudes. Uh, now I might have some leadstone stuff on me. Do I have any leadstone stuff? There's some. Nice. Okay. And we're going to want to kind of test how this is going to work. The other thing I want to do is upgrade this thing. Uh, so crates, uh, we can upgrade from small to medium crates by making a medium crate, 
which is four void crystal blocks. So basically we want four of these. And we'll pop down here. And we should then be able to make a crate Let's see if I'm right about this. This makes a small storage crate. We're going to totally want some of this, 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 that. And then we can do a medium one. Nice. And then we can get small to medium. And in theory, this should be cool. Now, I think I can just boom. And now we have a medium storage crate. And that gives us a whole nother page of storage. So uh, anything that needs to get routed in there at this point should have no problem getting in. Nice. Okay, so that should all be good. We'll kind of keep an eye and make sure that everything's behaving itself, but we should eventually start seeing junk show up in this area. All right, let's take a nap and let's get this uh, plant planter up and running because I would like to have a tree farm. And that's our plan for the day. Uh, and then we'll look at range upgrades on this dude too. Cool. Um, so let's go stick him in this general area over here, right? Um, like, right? That sounds good, right? That doesn't sound terrible, at least. So if we show the range... Oh, look at you. You're one block... Okay, cool. That's good to know. So hide that. I need you to be one block lower. I guess that makes sense, and I'm kind of happy that that's the thing and how it works. Uh, so now I'll show your working area, and that's right there. So let's get a few range upgrades, because I definitely want this thing to be a little bit um, better than a 3x3. Three three. Uh, so range... So it's probably under 4 going. What are these things called? Range add-ons. Cool. Uh, let's get the tier 3. That's quartz. 4 is sandstone for the tier 4. Five is glowstone. Six is iron. So like, I don't want this thing to be huge. So I don't think I want it to be huge. Like it doesn't necessarily need to be huge because it's going to be like a pretty decent bit of automation. So it doesn't need to be a giant tree farm. Uh, so range three uh, is nether quartz. So if I got a dozen nether quartz and some, do I still have my plastic? Did my plastic get sorted? This is probably a good time to figure out where plastic gets sorted to. Did I sort my plastic? Where does plastic get sorted to? Hang on, let me find out where it went. Oh, there it is. Cool. Uh, uh, yeah, we're going to want four of that. I can probably use these because I'm going to assume that they're war dictionary. And then a dozen quartz. And that'll get me, because I'm going to need two of them anyway eventually. Nice, they are war dictionary. Beautiful. So if I drop this range upgrade, which is tier three, directly into this machine, it should boost up the working area. And we'll see if I'm right about that. Can I right-click it in there? Nope, but I should do that, and boom, look at that. All right, so that's cool. So that will be my tree farm, right? And it'll be centered on this block, um, and that should be pretty neat. And it'll, it'll also plant on top of that block. So let's go underground here, because we're probably definitely almost 100% going to want to have some kind of routing system going on under here because we're going to need to transfer uh, items as well as power to this thing. So let's assume that here, so there's going to be a block here that's going to be harvesting for us, right? And that's where we're going to tap into, okay? So that'll be our harvester. Um, cool. All right. Because what's going to happen is we're going to, um, we're gonna, we need two different blocks, one for harvesting and one for planting. When this harvests the saplings, we wanna route the saplings back into this block so that it has the saplings it needs to plant. Does that make sense? Hopefully. Um, so let's get some item conduits because we're totally gonna want those. And I'm thinking, I don't think I wanna get the, the plated ones yet, but we'll see. Uh, so how am I for item conduits? We have not many. So we're gonna want some hardened glass and some tin. We should have, oh good, we have a lot of hardened glass and a lot of tin. So I should be able to make, that should be cool, route home. 
So we'll stick with items for now, and then we'll also get the RF transmitter stuff going in a minute for power. Um, so ultimately, we're basically going to want this guy to be getting his power. And he should zzz, right to that thing, and he'll start filling up. Nice. So he is filling his internal buffer. Now what if I... Now I want to lock these so that it... Oh, that's cool. Look at you. When I lock him, it locks him with a ghost. That's neat. That is super cool. And it should be planting them out there. Look at it. Beautiful. And it seems to be... So it looks like it's... Is it using 40 RF a tick? Is that what it is? And since we're getting 80, we should be fine. And it's using 40 while it's planting. Okay. And now it's... I don't know what it's using. <laughs> I don't know if that's like the current change in RF attack. Like, is it using, what's it gonna say once it fills up? All right, so that's cool. So I guess that's like the change in RF down there. So that's kind of neat actually. All right, um, so now that we know that, let's get the thing that's going to harvest these trees, okay? Oh, you know what, I do have another stack of these guys here. So let's go ahead and drop them in. So by the way, these different slots represent uh, the different quadrants that we have here. So like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine slots here. These represent the different quadrants. So like the back corner, the back end, and then that corner and that side, so all around. So if you want, you can put different types of plants in this area. So if we want to do like wheat and potatoes and nether wart and whatever else we want, it would handle that. But for now, I'm just working on a tree farm. We will probably change this in a bit. Um, so with that taken care of, now let's get the plant gatherer. That sounds good, right? Plant gatherer. So we're gonna want uh, two iron axes and an iron hoe and two gold gears. Okay, good to know. <coughs> so some gold gears times two plant gatherer. I really need to fix that thing that gets this thing dropped in there. It drives me nuts. I'm gonna have to figure out if there's a way to do it. I'm sure there is. Just have to figure out what it is. So you guys come into here. That looks cool. And plant gatherer then just needs the two axes. One, two, and a hoe. And now plant gatherer is ready to be crafted. Now for now, do I have, you know what, I'm gonna grab just a chest if I have one, I do. That's where the items are gonna go for now. Um, now I'm wondering, because I think what's gonna happen is, yeah, I know what I'm gonna have to do. So I think the way this thing's gonna work is I'm going to, good. So that faces that direction. He just needs power now. Uh, now if I place this guy right behind, is he gonna auto eject? This is the question of the day. This is a temporary location for this thing to sit. You're gonna start getting power. And what should happen is we're gonna fill up some sludge because every time it harvests, it's gonna sludge, but it should pretty quickly here. It's, it goes down the rows if it works like the MFR one. So show working area. Oh wait, I have to, let's do this. Hide working area. You can hide, boom. I have to get the range upgrade in this guy, I forgot, boom. So that's the current range upgrade, not big enough. We drop this guy in there and now he has a range upgrade that perfectly matches the plant placing block, right? So by doing the level, there we go, nice. So he's clearing out a bunch of stuff. Not too terrible. Okay, so he's clearing out all the leaves first and we're getting saplings. Cool, beautiful. And then it replants, that's nice. Okay, very, very cool. Um, very cool. So you guys are locked. This is all working beautifully. All right, so you don't auto output to the chest. So how can I route this in an intelligible way because I don't think thermal dynamics I don't think we have like the item ducks yeah I don't think we have those yet still I know they're being worked on but I don't think we have them yet which is a kind of a bummer so how can I intelligently route saplings uh, first, because there's no priority system of any kind on the filters, right? 
Like, there's no way to say, like, you're a higher priority than another. I, I don't think that that's a thing yet. Right, so... Do, 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 use metadata, whitelist. So, the best we can do for now, unless there's another item transfer system we can use, kind of could. Uh, there's, there's, there's item transfer systems we can use, but I'm not sure how much I like them, if I'm being totally honest, for just the conceptualness of it. Like, I really want to do item ducks here, but it's not going to work. If I can't say saplings go here first and here second, which is what I want. That's ultimately what I want to have happen. And we're getting sludge. The next question I have, by the way, is whether or not the machine stops working when the sludge is full or if it just keeps working and voids excess sludge. So when this thing fills up, we're going to have to see what happens. All right, so we've got a basic tree farm going. You're not going to do anything for me, so you have to go away. Um, what I'm going to need to figure out is how to item route the saplings into this guy that this guy is collecting. Cool. Um, Cause I don't want to say all saplings always go here and like blacklist on the chest. Cause I do want to collect saplings after that thing's full. So let me think for a few minutes. All right. So I could do it with the item interfaces from integrated dynamics, but I don't think we've integrated tunnels, but we haven't really gotten into that yet. Um, so what I've come up with is a solution that I don't love, but it'll work. So basically we're gonna get saplings, wood, and apples for now. So let's set up a drawer system. Uh, so we're gonna want storage drawers. I want another controller that I can route into. So it's gonna be a diamond in a basic drawer. So let's get some of this, some of that. Hey, give me that diamond. Uh, drawer controller needs two redstone comparators and some smooth stone. So I'm gonna want two of you. And do we have any smooth stone laying around? I would think we do, cool. All right, so that, and then we're gonna want one of you, and we're gonna want four drawers. Cool. And one of these becomes a controller. Cool. All right, so that will be that. Then we'll have our item conduit here, and then I'm gonna want a filter. We don't need like a fancy filter of any kind. So if I don't already have a filter, which it doesn't look like I have one of, then I'm just gonna make a cheap one. That will be an iron one. So we might have iron nuggets laying around here somewhere. Iron nuggets, maybe? Have you started putting things in here yet? No. At some point I'd like to just verify that it actually starts doing that uh and then we need paper don't we that's one other thing we need paper 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 i should have some i'm going to need a better storage system of items at some point sooner than later all right so you're going to filter this dude that should all be cool let's get you and you and that'll be good so basically what i'm going to do it's not the way i would love to do it but it'll work for now uh, until we have a better system, right? So what if I put in the ground here, my controller, one, two, three, and then we got our apples. And what we could say is wood, apples, and saplings, right? And I should get my key to lock that. I should have a key around there somewhere, right? I've had one of those things before. it would probably be in this drawer. Yeah, because I do want to lock them down. So what we'll do is we will route past the whole thing. And just to verify that this is working properly, good, you locked all three. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extract out the bottom of this dude. Let's move this guy underground as well. Uh, so you can kind of chill right here and you'll connect to that. And then item conduits will come down here Okay, um, like so. And you will be filtering here, we'll put our filter on, that says you whitelist only saplings. Hello, why did you, what did you, okay, what's this? This is my, okay, offhand, neat. 
Today I'm learning what that, I didn't realize that that was there. Okay, so filter, whitelist saplings. Okay, so only saplings are allowed in there. And then, from here, so it tries to put into the saplings first and anything else goes into there, right? So now we just need a servo and we should be good to go. So let's make sure we have a servo ready. It doesn't have to be a particularly fast one, um, but we don't want it to be a slow one either. So do we have any servos handy or have I used up all of those that I've made as well? So let's get a hardened one if we can, or reinforced, reinforced might be good if I have Electrum laying around. Kinda don't, we'll make one real quick just cause it's so not hard to make anymore. You and you, induction smelt. Right, so for a hardened or for a reinforced servo, all I need on me is two more of these iron nuggets. Cool. So this will extract out the wood, the saplings, and the apples and drop them into the drawers. And then we'll be able to hide everything on underground wiring wise. So if we pop over here, so you can turn off your range mode. We don't need that anymore. And then you get the servo which is just gonna be set in always active mode, right? And he should, good, he's pulling out the items. That's beautiful. And they'll route this way, and we'll see that the saplings will go into this first until this is full. And then once it's full, other saplings will proceed to go down to the next place. So you can see that filling up, cool. And I think it only does 16 at each. So that's actually kind of really good for us. Beautiful. And then these guys are gonna route over there. And then the wood and the apples, which I assume there were some apples. Maybe it already moved them. Cool. Nice, how's that look? So you'll plant those guys. And now we've got wood, saplings, and apples. Perfect. And everything's working beautifully. Now, have you filled up your sludge? Is that why you're not chopping down that tree? Or did that tree literally just, just grow? All right, it might have just grown, that's why. So now the next test is what happens when you fill up sludge. Will you stop working? Uh, because you're full of sludge, or what are you gonna do? We're gonna find out in about a minute. Uh, so next one to grow here, we'll see what happens. Go ahead, grow something. All right, we'll be back in a minute once I determine what's happening. Oh, there's one, nice. So are you gonna fill up your sludge? And if so, do I have to void sludge or not? Because I do have a liquid trash can, so if I have to void it, I can. There's the trash can for fluids, and that's cool. All right, so sludge, 8,000 millibuckets. So we've totally filled up on sludge and it does seem like the machine is still running. Yes, okay, cool. So we don't have to worry about sludge. Uh, so sludge can be used in a sludge boiler, I believe, unless uh, they've, they've added something to it. So a sludge refiner, it's called. That will get you clay and dirt and gravel and mycelium and pods all and sand and red sand. So basically, and soul sand, that's cool. Uh, so this machine here, the sludge refiner, and you can also use it to get that, 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 that. Those are just containers. Oh, neat. You can put sludge into the chemical thrower. That's cool. Uh, if you touch sludge, I think it gives you debuffs. A lot of the liquids in MFR, I don't know if that's the way it works in Industrial 4 going, but in Mine Factory Loaded, a lot of these liquids had effects if they touched you. So like sewage and sludge and all this stuff had different effects if you got in, into them. So that I'm gonna say is a pretty functional tree farm and it seems to be working great. Nice. Uh, and again, like I said, once the thing there fills up, all the saplings will start routing into the drawers and then we'll be in good shape. And that, my friends, I wanna say, is a pretty good time to wrap up the episode. Uh, so I think we're cool. Um, with, with what we've accomplished today. We've got an automated tree farm, which we can then use the, 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 the trees. So I wanna check something. Can I then take the wood from the tree farm and smelt it into charcoal and use that to get some refined fuel in our basement to power our base? Because if I can turn wood into refined fuel, that would be cool. Or can it only be charcoal? That's what we're gonna find out. No, not wood, hold on. Smelt it. Done. So charcoal, pulverizer. Um, so let's see if this works, right? Uh, so I guess the step that would fail would probably be here. 
Can you accept pulverized charcoal? You cannot. Okay, so... Refined fuel. We can use charcoal for lots of other things, by the way, so it's not a big deal. There's, there's a lot of resources that we can do this with, right? Um, comes from naphtha, which comes from crude oil or liquefacted coal. Got it. Uh, and liquefacted coal comes from pulverized coal, and that's it, or carbon drops. Coal dust from IC2, crushed coal, that's about it. So not charcoal, unless uh, either IC2 or actually additions breaks coal down, charcoal down into crushed coal, but I doubt that it does. It might, I don't know. But all right, good to know. So we can't um, do that thing. So trash can you. I always forget that I have this trash can right here that I can always just like void items if I feel like. It's better than throwing them on the ground and waiting for them to rot, which is another way of voiding items. So, you know. Uh, so yeah, definitely wrapping up point. We'll come back next time. Are you not routing your sticks into here because you don't think that you have room? Or like, what's the deal with the sticks? Why are you no routing all of a sudden? You, uh, you got something you want to tell me there, mister? I'm confused. What if I did this? Would you start routing now? Super confused why this is all of a sudden not working. Oh well. Gonna have to do a little off-camera troubleshooting to figure out why you decided to break all of a sudden. For now, Double 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. You know what to do. Take it easy.